I want to welcome you back from Boxing Jabs, and tonight we're going to talk about ESPN new boxing pound for pound ratings after the Canelo Alvarez loss to Dimitri Bivol. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. We have a new pound for pound king over at ESPN after Canelo Alvarez's loss to Dimitri Bivol. So we're going to go down and look at the rankings. They now have Terrence Crawford as number one. We know about Terrence Crawford. He's 38 and 0. He's looking forward to a huge fight with Earl Spence. We have the uh, young Inaway who moves up to number two. I don't think he should be that high. I think Earl Spence should be number two. Canelo Alvarez as number four. It's a pretty good position for him to be. He didn't lose to in about nine years. Dimitri Bibble is an excellent fighter. He showed Canelo Alvarez's weakness, but I believe that Canelo Alvarez in the upcoming rematch will get his revenge. Then we have the big man, Tyson Fury. We know about his blast out of Dillian White, which was huge, but his huge victories were over Deontay Wilder. Usyk who I think should be number four, who is a tremendous fighter. You remember, undisputed is Cruiserweight. He goes up, beats Anthony Joshua. At heavyweight, becomes the unified heavyweight championship. Truly a great fighter. We got Loma at number seven. I don't believe that Loma should be at number seven after his loss. He should be a little bit down, maybe not even in the top ten. Dimitri Bivol. Excellent fight. I agree with this position at number eight. Talented fighter. Still has a long way to go. A rematch with Camnello or the winner of Smith Benavente. That would be an excellent fight. And we know about Shakur Stevenson. After the victory over Oscar Valdez, in which he showed all his talents, reminded you of Sweet Pea Whitaker in that fight. Tremendous action in that fight and Juan Francis Estrada 42 and 3 yes he had a split decision win over Tito Gonzalez but I don't believe that he should be in the top 10 but one thing I do agree I agree with one Terrence Crawford I agree with Earl Spence I would agree with Canelo Alvarez I would have put him at three I would have put Inouye at four I would have put Tyson Fury Kept him at five, Usyk at six. I'd have took out Lomachenko. I'd have kept Bivol, Shakur Stevenson, and the rest is up to you. But I think these new rankings at the top are pretty good. And I think the fight between Spence and Terrence Crawford will say a lot about boxing. That fight needs to happen. It needs to happen right away. It needs to happen this fall. I know people are talking about September 17th. If you know anything about boxing, the huge unification bout between Thomas Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard happened September 16th, 1981. So we're going to look forward to that match possibly coming this fall. But a lot of these I agree with. Only the positions. Two I would take out. That would be Loma and Estrada, and you could possibly put in someone else, you know. Uh, so this is their new rankings, and you should check it out on ESPN. I want to thank you for listening to Boxing Jabs. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video.